Yo, what's going on you guys, your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be going over which team cap, ugh, which team captain you guys should choose for your Mutt 22 Ultimate Team. Now, I know you guys are expecting tip videos a lot, and but right now, the game just isn't out, so I've gotten a few DMs about people asking for tip videos, and I, I don't have my hands on the game right now, so if, unfortunately, I can't provide you with any tips, and even if I could, you don't have the game, so why, I, you know... When, when the game drops, you guys are going to be bombarded with tips, tricks, all that stuff. We're going heavy into month this year, gameplay-wise, tip-wise, and all that stuff. So rock with me, and I rock with you, and I will make sure that a lot of you guys are brought up to that next level because i mean I'm, I'm doing this heavy so me doing this heavy means that you guys are going to get better because i'm going to be dropping a, a loads of content but today we're going to be going over the team captains which one you guys should choose which one i'm picking and yeah that's pretty much it now obviously team captains three times team bucket in the beginning uh, that means that you get three team slots like last year's team captains it was Leroy glover aeneas williams um ed mccaffrey and the beast eddie george himself now a lot they they were they, they really weren't like blockbuster names it wasn't anybody that was like that wowed you so everybody pretty much went with Leroy glover most people i know some people that went with eddie george if they couldn't afford a decent running back but this year it seems like it's a little bit different um each each captain provides a three times boost to the to your team chemistry so if you guys are going for a theme team these guys will be able to have every single every single team as your theme team you know your theme team needs these cards are pretty much going to be the best for it but you can only pick one uh i don't know what the campaign week three virtual season means each ability that you put on these cards will cost five training each superstar x factor ability is 10 training to upgrade from an 85 to an 89 overall because these do start at an 85 overall all you're gonna need is five training per upgrade i don't know if that's gonna i don't know if that's gonna make it so that training is more expensive this year but that seems really really cheap and i hope that's the case because that that would be amazing to just be able to upgrade these players to an 89 overall at the beginning of the game we're gonna start with an 89 overall gotta love it that's a great move by ea in my opinion it it, it, it doesn't seem too money hungry which is amazing but yeah let's let's get right into the four players that we got this year we've got a, a lance allworth and this is the 89 overall version so he's six foot 88 speed 87 catching 86 catching traffic 88 spec catch 87 short route running 87 medium route running and 89 deep route running now this is a stud this is an absolute stud he's way way he's beyond he's years beyond better than ed mccaffrey be, unless unless this year you can you can aggressive catch people you can kind of moss people because last year it, you weren't really able to do that and ed, ed mccaffrey just wasn't one, one, one of those guys so he also he lacks speed on top of route running and just anything that you could actually do with him so this year they gave us a speedster route runner that's going to pair up nicely if you guys end up choosing like jamar chase as your rookie premier but lance allworth 88 speed great stats all across the board 89 acceleration which is also very 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 big now obviously he is a smaller wide receiver i weigh i weigh just as much as he does and i'm i'm, I'm not the biggest person i'm not gonna lie so very very good choice to have but next we are gonna go and check out jack youngblood now i know a lot of people are looking at this card and they're like man this isn't that great this card is great now now let me back up to lance allworth one more time because something that a lot of people aren't realizing is the thresholds that this man might be able to hit there's a, there's different strategy cards in the game that are going to be able to bump up certain things and we don't know if there's going to be one that bumps up all the route running on your team because if so if you have the if you have it maxed out or to a decent amount you might be able to get his short medium and deep route running all to 90 overall that will be huge especially if that is the threshold now i spoke a little bit about when the uh the the when the threshold gets to 85 for some reason ea has it so it hits that nice little forest green color so i'm not sure if 
that's gonna be you know that's gonna be where the threshold kind of lies or where whether it's gonna be like kind of close to that mark we know that all madden is gonna be different like the stats usually need to be lower like so for so for instance last year 90 was the threshold for uh 90 or 91 was the threshold for uh all pro but like 85 was the threshold for all madden and we don't know if it's gonna change this year because these guys are starting off with pretty decent stats so far so Lance Allworth, amazing choice. Next, we got Jack Youngblood, who a lot of people, oh, this is not the right Jack Youngblood. This is the right Jack Youngblood. But a lot of people aren't really looking at this card and thinking, man, this is gonna be a great card. 82 speed on the line is amazing. That's a great speed for alignment, especially alignment that you might be able to take and put at DT. So again, we'll have another another version of Leroy Glover with more speed 88 finesse move 86 power move 86 block shed 88 play rec this guy is an absolute stud absolute stud 82 speed is huge on the d-line at the beginning of the year I don't think people realize that like you got your Patrick Mahomes who's 71 speed i believe or something he's in the 70s which means that a jack young blood is going to be able to hawk him down easy and remember that's going to be one of the quarterbacks that most of us have at the beginning of the season is either tom brady or patrick mahomes even if you end up choosing trey lance um trevor lawrence excuse me i said trey lance trey lance is probably gonna be fast but trevor lawrence he's gonna have his uh 79 speed which means jack young blood is gonna be able to hawk him down as well think about it there's a lot there's a lot that goes into it and jack youngblood is literally one of the best team captains to have on your team next we've got john lynch now john lynch is one of those guys that it just the, see this one is where the speed matters this this is one of the guys where speed is gonna matter and you, you are not gonna want to pick john lynch he's got 86 speed 88 acceleration 87 tackling 86 play rec 85 pursuit 79 man coverage we, we're not good we're not really going to be manning up our say our, our strong safety to a lot of people but 79 if you do want to go that route 87 zone 89 hit power that is huge on top of having 80 strength 85 agility 86 speed oh we already went through that but the reason why this john lynch card isn't that big of a factor or that big of a choice in this game is because we already are going to start the game off with a cam chancellor now i don't know how much we're going to be able to boost up that cam chancellor but i'm pretty sure he's going to be able to have higher speed than john lynch pretty much the same overall stats across the board as a john lynch card they're pretty they pretty much go hand in hand the only difference is cam chancellor is 6'3 and he's free and you don't everyone's going to be able to get a, ch a camp chancellor you're going to be you're you're going to have to choose between a john uh, like four different team captain cards you can't have all four so in my opinion why would you waste a pick on john lynch when you already are going to have a strong safety in camp chancellor who's not only taller but he's faster has better stats can get to a higher overall and that's to me that's enough for me to just move on from from this card and last but not least sean alexander now if any of you guys played with this card at the big at like when he dropped last year you know that this card was super shifty but i think they might have had him at elusive back last year i could be mistaken but he seemed like he was kind of like a barry sanders type of player he didn't seem like he was a power back he seemed very elusive i could be completely wrong about that and if i am correct me correct me in the comment section who knows but 86 speed 88 acceleration 82 agility 88 carrying that's some of the highest carrying that i've seen from most of the running backs so far 64 catching 82 change of direction 89 trucking 88 break tackle 82 strength 82 agility he is going to be an absolute stud he's he's like a baby eddie george from last year like he's going to be able to be shifty enough to move around because eddie george was he's eddie, eddie george in size was just massive sean alexander's a little bit smaller but he's going to be able to sit there and break those tackles truck some people and then break out in, in the open field i do 86 speed for a running back at the beginning of the year is not bad but this definitely will not be a bad option to go with if you guys are actually trying to to choose a running back as your main core position now for my pick for my pick i'm gonna it's, for me it's it's between two positions 
I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go Sean Alexander. I'm not gonna go John Lynch. So immediately we gotta go back to Jack Youngblood and Lance Allworth. If there is a mutt strategy card that can boost up all of your route running, then this is gonna be the card that I'm gonna go with. It, it, it hands down is gonna be the card because on top of having the the team chem upgrades, this card is gonna be able to outrun out route anybody in the game at the beginning of the year now if it's the same thing as last excuse me if it's the same thing as last year we are going to be able to change them up as well so if you guys go with a lance allworth and don't like how, how he plays or he his his card gets a little outdated remember we can always switch back now one thing that a lot of us kind of are that we always miss is that d tackle position so this is based on two things if lance allworth gets the strategy cards i'm definitely going him it's because i want that route running to be 90 across the board if he doesn't and jack youngblood has the alternate position where you could put him at d tackle jack youngblood is going to be my choice because that's always a position that we always kind of we kind of look over we kind of just look over the d tackle position which if we can have an 80 oh this is the wrong one again if we can have an 80 two speed jack youngblood at d tackle this guy's gonna be a stud for you so hopefully you guys are making one of these two choices i'm not telling you what to do with your life but i'm just telling you how to live it right that's all i'm saying jack youngblood lance allworth bring him home and make sure that your team is the best as possible hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section who you guys are going to be picking for your team captain and i'll see you guys in the next video as always man two fingers deuces and peace out